Some of our region's biggest hospitals face huge losses of health care workers come Monday. That's when Governor Hochul's vaccine mandate goes into effect. And the order from Hochul allows hospitals to fire unvaccinated workers. But Steve Brown reports tonight some area hospitals are trying to avoid that. The Erie County Medical Center may be minus 400 health care workers Monday as Governor Kathy Hochul's vaccination mandate goes into effect. What's the anticipation? Well, you know, it, that's it's it's obviously not ideal after a long pandemic where the healthcare workers have already given so much and are already kind of working at maximum capacity. Assistant Medical Director Dr. Samuel Cloud says the hospital will honor the state directive, even though personnel losses may be very high. ECMC could fire its unvaccinated staff, but instead is planning suspensions for the ECMC employees, non physicians. They have worked out a um, 30 day um, uh, period of time without pay in order to give those people time to think about whether or not they would want to get the vaccination. Failure to get vaccinated for COVID at the end of the 30 day period would lead to termination. For the Kaleida Hospital system, the unvaccinated have three options. Get vaccinated by 7 a.m. Monday, apply by Sunday night for a religious exemption that the Hochul order does not include, but the issue is being battled out in the courts, or face immediate termination. At Catholic Health Hospitals, healthcare workers have been told this, any unvaccinated associate without a medical exemption or requested a religious exemption prior to 7 p.m. on Sunday will be placed on an unpaid leave of absence beginning on Monday for 30 days. And at Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center, in-house vaccination clinics reportedly have resulted with more healthcare workers getting shots, but... And if individuals uh, do not have uh, their vaccine, at least the first dose, uh, or have not been granted a uh, exemption from the vaccine mandate, uh, then they are not to report to work and they are, will be separated on uh, September 27th. All area hospitals report they have accelerated hiring and recruiting recently, hoping that it blunts the potential loss of workers when the mandate goes into effect on Monday. Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.